Welcome bout betters. I regret not covering all these bouts, but I hope that my content is really about quality, one side or the other. I don't consider myself a deep diver, although I try to do my st tape study as well as statistical overviews. I'm watching some Russian analysts right now trying to determine if Andre De Silva has any chance against Sergei Misarov. Well, the big story right today during the weigh-ins, William Knight missed weight by 13 pounds and he was already an underdog. This is spooky stuff because it speaks to the poor commission quality that they have there in Houston, Texas to allow the fight to go on. They're, you know, they're just interested in the money and it sets a bad precedent in that they are already known to have poor judging there and it's a little scary. If I were in these guys' corners, I'd be saying we are not leaving this to the judges. We are looking for finishes. Regardless, this fight will take place at heavyweight. Knight is going to have a huge advantage in that he didn't have to cut weight. It's sort of cheating. It's not cool. But, again, they, the, the, the commission is going to allow this. Knight is a low-volume power puncher who has a bomb. He has a basic striking skill set, both offensively and defensively. Prior to the UFC, Knight was a round one fighter, but now is shown he can go three rounds, although his cardio and off offensive output are still suspect. Maxime Grishin has a lot more fight experience and has a more polished striking technique, and he's going to need it because Will Knight can take a blow. Will Knight also has a wrestling background where he may be able to exploit Grisham's takedown defense or lack of his takedown defense. Marcin Taburia landed three of seven takedowns to control Maxim for nearly 10 minutes. Maxim is a power puncher himself with not a ton of volume either. Both these guys are stalkers and both guys don't push the pace. So they both also fade as the fight progresses. They have a lot of similarities in their poor fighting qualities. And technically, Maxim, I think, is better. But William Knight, with that raw power, it's just going to be in this weight debacle here. It's got to help him. He didn't cut the weight, so he's going to come in fresher earlier. Or is he? Is he going to tire even quicker? Is him missing weight a sign that he was not prepared for this fight? He did take it on short notice. So maybe he's just not in, in any kind of shape. And Maxim Grishin is going to be able to piece him up. Knight had a huge power advantage from the onset, and I was favoring him earlier. So I look for Knight to be headhunting in round one. He's going to be aggressive and hungry in that first round, which is going to be difficult because he is the smaller and Greasem has better defense. William Knight's going to have a huge, huge disadvantage in terms of the reach as well as the height. It's going to be difficult for him to find Greasem's chin, and Greasem has better Defensive movement and defensive technique. I think this is a live betting situation or a lottery ticket bet from the, from the get as Knight is either going to implement a grapple and control game plan after round one if he doesn't knock out Maxim in that first round. Although Greeson is a better striker technically, Knight has that raw power that he can use to find that chin or bull rush Greeson into the cage and set up a takedown. And Knight has a heavy base. Once he's on top of you, he's not going to get off. This is a tough spot, but the distance lines are really nice at even money at minus 115, which isn't horrible. I like it when Vegas is scurred this way. Both fighters by finish are juicy, where Grissim paying only plus 145 to be to win by decision, while you'll get plus 500 for night by decision. Night by decision is I'm tempted by that plus 500 number. I think he could go in there, blow his wad round one, but still have enough to get Grissom on the mat rounds two and three and just lay and pray. But again, this is that Houston commission that we don't know what how they're going to evaluate uh, control time, takedowns, or anything. I don't have a lot of faith in it, and I think this is going to be a big problem for us gamblers that a lot of these cards or a lot of the fights that you possibly bet on can be suspect to these, these horrible, horrible judges there. Well, both Grisham's and Knight's TKO line is set at plus 300. If you're a lottery ticket better and want to chase a mega ball, fight ends in 60 seconds is plus 1,000. Curiously, the, the Carlos uberg Charant fight is plus 400, as well as the Tai Tuivasa uh, line for that same prop. So people don't expect this fight to end early, but those other fights... Vegas anticipates those finishing not only in the first round, but probably in the first 60 seconds. 
I was on night prior to the weigh-ins, and if he remains a dog, I will stick with that on my, on the money line. I doubt I would chase the KO or decision prop, but I think it's this fight does go the distance possibly, and Grissom winning by points on the feet or Knight winning by dominant control time a la Marcin Tiburia. Well, we still get a fight. There are a ton of spots on this card. Again, I wish I could have done more coverage. I just didn't have the time, but thanks you. Anybody that's been watching or listening to this stuff, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And if you've made it this far, you are about better. <laughs>